All right. Hello, everyone. Um, so it's been a little bit since I've streamed anything. Uh, about one and a half months. Uh, but I'm back. We're going to do some Feeding Frenzy today. And I'm going to talk about the recently discovered uh, level warping glitch. That's what we, that's what we as the speedrun community, have decided to call it. Uh, level warping, uh, which is distinct from earlier examples of level skipping, where you just skip a bonus stage. Level warping takes that one step further and allows you to skip, like, multiple stages at a time, including normal stages. In fact, it's it seems even more effective at skipping normal stages, but not a whole lot is known about it. But I... I think it would be remiss of me not to mention it, uh, just because it was a pretty significant event that happened recently, and it took a while, uh, like talking with the speedrun.com moderators and as a community, the small community, but a community nonetheless, uh, deciding whether or not we should allow level warping as a glitch to be available in speedruns. And the consensus uh, was no. And there are a couple of reasons for that that I'm going to talk about. But it does lead to um, this, which uh, you, might, you might see this and be like, well, where's the game? You do you see the game isn't here. And well, uh, we've decided or rather, the speedrun.com moderators decided that uh, some of us should be able to prove that we're playing legitimately because um, part of the level warping glitch discovery led to a discussion on whether or not someone who submitted a run was playing legitimately or not. And I believe they were playing legitimately, but there's still some oddities that are unaccounted for. So the main way to tell if someone's playing legitimately is to see the start screen of the game itself. So you'll see that when I boot up the game. But for now, uh, we don't have the game here. Um, welcome in, Dudfruit. Yes, I, I'm i streaming at a good time for those of you in the other hemisphere. Ugh. It's like... Uh, early morning for you, though, right? So yeah. Um, I don't know what kind of time I'm going to be getting. Um, I'm aiming for sub-33, but if I can get a sub-30, that would be amazing. So... This is the startup screen. Um, it took a little bit longer to start up because I was moving it to my other monitor. Um, but yeah. We're going to be playing Feeding Frenzy. If you want to ask questions about the level warping glitch, I can answer it to the best of my knowledge. It won't be perfect because, there, again, very little is known about it. But any information I do have, I'm willing to provide. I just realized that I have my game muted. Okay, I'm gonna restart the game just for good measure. Just, you know, to make absolute certain that I am, in fact, proving that the game is legit. I don't know what, if the credits matter. Oh, yep. Version 5.7. Okay. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about with the level warp glitch is the reason why we decided to ban it. And uh, it all comes down to one very major reason, which is that it's inconsistent. Uh, and what do I mean by that is it's different for different people on different machines. 
it likely has to do with like a machine speed issue. That's my hypothesis. But we don't know yet. What is known is that if you have a super fast machine, such as one of our moderators, Saison, um, in order to perform the glitch, you might have to click at insane click speeds, like a thousand times per second, which is obviously not possible. And thus, it gives people who have slower computers a huge advantage, which is a problem. Uh, but not only that, it's inconsistent across different copies of the game. So, Feeding Frenzy 1 has a lot of glitches, but apparently it also has a somewhat interesting-ish version history. The three major known versions of the game that uh, I'm aware of and the speedrun community is aware of is version 1.0, which is the very first release of the game, uh, version 2.9, and version 5.7. I'm playing on version 5.7, um, and the level skip glitch that I performed recently as proof that it is actually a thing, that is a, a legitimate glitch, that was done on version 1.0. Uh, but I have been unable to do it on either version 5.7 or 2.9. And version 2.9 is the version that the other person who submitted a run with the skip was playing on. So, it being inconsistent across different copies of the game is also <laughs> frustrating in particular because version 1.0 feeding frenzy is the modding copy of the game so there are mods of feeding frenzy one i might play one at some point i have one downloaded i played it um i want to say like maybe 10 months ago, something like that. And it was per it was all right. Um, but the fact that version 1.0 can be modded is itself a red flag in my eyes, because if we allow a version of the game that can be modded very easily in speedrunning, the burden of proof for every single run goes way up because either you have to prove that you are running on a copy that can't be modded or you have to prove that your copy doesn't have mods and both of those well one of those is much more invasive than the other just because of how feeding frenzy deals with mods which it can't it can't do natively so you have to go into the file system of your actual computer to prove it which is not fun but also like what happens if like um it's discovered that a different feeding frenzy copy can be modded such as 2.9 or 5.7 i I think it starts getting into some really shaky territory like that. I, I'm I'm kind of rambling at this point. I have to split my attention between like playing the game and explaining the glitch and its consequences. Um, rip gold minnow, but then I got a second one, so it, it's okay. So I did mention that the community did vote to ban uh, the level warp glitch. And as of right now, I agree with this. I didn't I didn't always agree with this decision, uh, particularly when we were initially voting. I voted to make it a new category. However, uh, this was before we discovered that it was not consistent across different machines. So 
Just because someone could do it on version 1.0 doesn't mean everyone could do it on version 1.0. Uh, again, Saison has to input like thousands of clicks per second, whereas I only have to click about uh, 40 times a second or something ridiculous like that. But like, still possible, you know? So, after hearing that it was inconsistent for different people, R.I.P. Black Pearl, um, I was like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe we shouldn't make it a new category then. If we did make it a new category, there would only be two runs in it, which would be uh, the initial run where this glitch was discovered, which was a 25, and uh, the time that I got in version 1.0, which blows it out of the water at two minutes, and that's kind of ridiculous. And then I think it's kind of obvious to not let it be in the same category as regular any percent, because the current world record for any percent is 30 minutes, so even level warping a little bit it is already gives whoever did it a huge advantage. Yeah, and that's totally a fair reason to ban it. I think that's kind of what a lot of people thought as well. And when I first heard of the glitch, I was just like, there's no way this is real. And I was, I was extremely skeptical of it until I did it myself, at which point I was like, okay, this is an actual thing. But I, I totally get not being in favor of it because I'm not in favor of it anymore. So, yeah. Uh, the history of speedrunning this game suddenly got, like, very weird. You know what I mean? Also, my only green split has been on hidden treasures. That's not inspiring confidence. I think I lost my train of thought, but I, I think you guys are understanding what I'm getting at. It's not consistent to perform uh, just because different people's machines run at different speeds. So if we allow it for everyone or even one person, uh, it's not replicable enough to like be an actual glitch. Like the best comparison I can think of are like all of the skips you can do in Super Mario 64. Because Super Mario 64, you can skip the majority of the game. You can beat the game with only collecting like 16 stars or one star or no stars at all, which is insane. But you can do all of those skips very consistently. Uh, like N64s and the Virtual Console generally run at the same speed. You know? Whereas this, um, it depends heavily on just, do you have a machine that allows for it? If no, then you're kind of fucked. And I, and that's a problem, obviously. Thank you, naval mine. Honestly, I should stay away from the top of the screen in this stage. Nothing good happens. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. How's your day going? Uh, we've been talking about the level warp glitch. Uh, which I posted a video demonstrating uh, like a week or two ago. This, it's insane. So we've been talking about that, we've been talking about how it's been inconsistent. And how it's banned from future runs. 
at least for the time being. Probably, probably forever. Uh, this is not a particularly big community. Though, something I um, do want to at least mention, um, it this kind of has opened the conversation uh, to, like, does Feeding Frenzy 2 also have skips like this? And uh, I don't know if it does. Feeding Frenzy 2, that is. It might. If it does, that would be insane. Uh, and Feeding Frenzy 2, from what I understand, is larger than Feeding Frenzy 1 in terms of like the community that plays it. Because Feeding Frenzy 1 is very old and also very glitchy. And also, I I got eaten by a John Dory. So, you know, skill issue. Um, I think I remember you. I think. And yes, I agree, Dutch Fruit. I don't think... I don't think they intended any malice when they discovered the glitch. They weren't, like, trying to be mean. I talked to them in VC, in the PopCap speedrunning server. Which, if you're going there expecting Plants vs. Zombies, Plants vs. Zombies has its own server. Uh, if anything, the PopCap speedrunning server is more like Bejeweled and Zuma. <laughs> since uh, the Frenzy Zone exists now. I am friends with Dez, yes, but I haven't seen her in a while. I also haven't played Mario Kart 8 in a while. It's a, it's a long story. Really? I didn't die to that Barracuda? Weird. Yeah, I don't think there was any malice intended behind the discovery. When I talked to them in VC, they seemed like a perfectly like normal human being, if that makes sense. Like they're they're chill. I I don't think they're like particularly upset. For some reason they still have world record in their video title, which is pretty misleading, but eh, what are you going to do? Uh, the issue with me playing Mario Kart 8 is that I don't have a capture card. So even if I could, I'd have to make some sort of weird setup, and even then, uh, I usually play in handheld. So it would be a huge adjustment playing on a TV. I might do it in the future, though. Nah, it's all good. Um, I'm gonna read that. Yes, uh, Feeding Frenzy Two is way more polished than one ever could be. Like the most polished part of Feeding Frenzy One is less polished than the least polished part of Feeding Frenzy 2. Like, it, it's insane. It would have been really funny if the Fury glitch happened there, and then there'd be another person getting it on video. I think Evander would get a kick out of that. Um, Mario Kart 8 facts? Hmm. I'll, I'll think of one. I, I gotta... I, I'm, like, splitting my attention between that and, uh, speedrunning. 
Um. Mario Kart 8. Uh. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um. Is the second Mario Kart game to allow multiple blue shells to be on the field at the same time. And the first one was Tour, because of Frenzies. Funnily enough, Frenzy. I'm playing a game with Frenzy in its title. And on screen at all times. As long as you share your notes with the rest of the class caliber. <laughs> I'm joking, but like... I'm starting to catch up on time. All I, all I need to do was stop talking about skipping levels and start talking about random other shit, and I catch up. No, it's okay, it's okay. Shit. Alright. Rest in peace, Gold Minnow. Well, at least I got a black pearl out of it. Alright. Uh, no more catch up for me. I did not get hit by that mine, but I got hit by it anyway. Oh, yeah, I do use a lot of. Uh, Okay, I screwed the hell out of that. Uh, I, I do use a little bit strong of language. Uh, I, I don't ever say slurs, though, so don't worry. The worst I say is I, I'll usually say, like, fuck whenever I do s poorly or say anything. <laughs> Dude, I remember during some of my older runs, this would be just a super fast stage for me because I would just like inhale all those schools. But for now, like now, uh, I can't seem to do that anymore. It's like the RNG was like, oh, you've had a really good stage 25. You will never have a good stage 25 ever again. Language English? Yeah. If I ever get the confidence in my Spanish speech to ever do a Spanish stream, I will. Yes, yeah. Spawns will screw you over. Uh, I mentioned this in the Frenzy Zone, which, by the way, link to the Frenzy Zone in the description. It's all about the two Feeding Frenzy games, but like you can still talk about other stuff there too. No worry. If you want, like, primarily discussion about the Feeding Frenzy games, uh, we do that there. Well, I mentioned in that Discord that I think the biggest RNG element in Feeding Frenzy 2 is the fish spawns. I don't think you've been coming across this rude. Don't worry. Uh, if you're curious what the biggest RNG element in this game is, uh, I think it's probably the Black Pearls. And maybe also the Gold Minnows. Gold minnows are not nearly as impactful in Feeding Frenzy 2 because they don't appear in as many stages, I think. Actually, uh, Dudfruit, you probably know better than me. How many stages do golden minnows appear in? I haven't finished my, like, my...
my reference sheet for every stage in Feeding Frenzy 2, even after like several months, uh, because I just haven't had the time. Do you know how many stages gold minnows appear in? Because I, I know for sure they appear in at least three. But I don't know for sure. Demonstration of stun slowing everything down, by the way. I've mentioned this before. Uh, stun just kind of sucks in this game. It doesn't suck as much in 2, but it slows everything down here. Alright, I'm getting a really bad stage 29. And yeah, I do remember them appearing uh, during some of the Goliath levels. I I feel like there's also one that appears during one of Layla's chase segment levels. Not Tricky Treats, but the one before that, I think. Oh yeah, there are, there are uh, quite a lot of sharks in this game. Uh, you will see so many more of them soon. And that is a promise. The whole plot of this game hinges on a shark. Uh, I think my biggest shark fun fact is that they investigate stuff by biting it. He's nuts? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, you know what? If I was going to die at any point during this level, it might as well be right after I switch phases, so I don't lose that much progress. Yeah, Dudfruit, you also have a ton of shark facts, don't you? And yeah, Hammerheads being able to see in 360 degrees is really cool. I remember seeing a video on why that's the case. I don't remember the exact uh, like explanation, but I do remember thinking it was very cool. I have also seen uh, a video from an ichthyologist today, actually, that debunked the whole uh, sharks can smell a drop of blood in like from a mile away or something. That's just not how that's just not how that works. Yeah, hammerheads have insane sensory skills. Like it, it's actually insane. Fortunately, the Megalodon no longer ex exists. But I have learned a whole lot about the Megalodon recently because I keep seeing videos from an ichthyologist continuously reacting to and debunking videos that are like, oh my god, is the Megalodon still around? It's like, no. You want to pet the Megalodon? I, You have to travel back in time, like... A couple hundred thousand years, I think. Maybe not a hundred thousand. I don't remember how long ago it lived. Yep, that's the one. Uh, 
Dude, I am losing so much time, but I do not even care right now. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, so by the way, for all of you guys that like sharks, um, the sharks in this game, I, it's, it's not what an actual shark looks like. I don't think any shark species looks like the ones in this game. They look emaciated. Sharks are more torpedo shaped. Generally speaking. Otodus. Interesting. I don't know a whole lot about taxonomy, so. I think the most interesting thing I have to say about taxonomy is that apparently bread clips have taxonomy. I mean, because of their head, I think. But, like, even still, the sharks in this game are, like, obviously not hammerheads. It does make me wonder how the hell uh, hammerheads evolved in the first place. Like, what was the... Like, what compelled... I say compelled as if it has a brain. Evolution, that is. What, what compelled evolution or natural selection to cause shark heads to turn into a hammer. That's so weird. Oh, I think the cookie cutter shark almost started like a war or like ac almost escalated the cold war. Cuz uh there were just bites taken out of um submarines. Something ridiculous. It was something ridiculous like that. You have to remember, it was like during the time when two of the strongest nations on the planet were at each other's throats. I, I'm not saying this to say like, oh, it shouldn't be your favorite shark. I'm saying this because this is just a really funny thing about it. Funny in a hindsight sort of way, not in like a, oh, wouldn't it be funny if a shark caused a uh, nuclear fallout? I missed the Black Pearl! Man! Okay, it gave me a second chance. Oh, okay. Could you imagine if I actually didn't fail that Black Pearl and I was able to get triple Black Pearl? Yeah, I mean... I... I want to be able to live my life able to learn something new every day. That sounds nice. There we go, there is Triple Black Pearl. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that it was true. Oh yeah, I have also heard about orcas attacking ships. I don't know why they're doing this. Do they know something that we don't? Well, I guess they know why they're attacking, but... Damn it. Yeah. Because of all the, yeah, the bites. Thank you, Shark. Very cool. I find it kind of funny how whenever you play as Orville, uh, your playstyle is nothing like how an actual orca works. Orcas use teamwork to, uh, like, take on prey that is too smart for them individually and will just eat things that aren't smart enough. 
Meanwhile, in Feeding Frenzy, when you play as Orville, uh, you are eating things inside of oysters. There we go. Kind of slow minefield, but whatever. This is not going to be sub 30, by the way. It's not even going to be sub 31. This is going to... It's going to be lucky if it's 32. But that's... That's fine. Uh... Attacked by a shark and had his leg bit off. Ooh. Aw. Well, that's the thing. Um... Shark attacks are usually not fatal themselves. Yeah, it's a fucking giant shark. This is the plot of the game, by the way. Um, it just all happens at once. What is the plot of the game, you might ask? Uh, big shark. Eat it. That's the plot. Um, more black pearls. Give me all the black pearls, please. Give me all the black pearls and the tuna. I want both. Run to comments in a moment, by the way. I, I just need to focus. Okay. Give me the tuna. Thank you. Tuna. If you're wondering why I'm going after the tuna and not uh, the Shark King, it's because the Shark King literally does nothing. Yippee. Oh, it might actually be sub 33. Black Pearl. Yeah, there we go. Sub 33. I mean, I, I'm celebrating because uh, that's the threshold that I was given to aim for by the speedrun.com moderators, but ideally I, I would have wanted to get a faster time. Orcas are pod hunters. Lone wolf orcas do exist, but they're usually way less successful. Yep. This is true. Um, get us out of the food chain. Yep. How did you eat that shark? Uh, cartoon magic, I guess. Like, there is basically not a single thing that is realistic about this game. <laughs> oh, will the timer reset if I... No, it will not. Okay. Uh... Yeah, sure, I'll save them. I am not signing off. I still want to play for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll do another run. Alright. Um, Feeding Frenzy 2 when? I don't know. Uh, if I get the time, then I might do it uh, soon. I'm going to do one more run of this, I think. I mean, be, please be careful when balancing on a ball. Especially if you're tired. That's that's not easy. And also potentially dangerous. Alright. Have a good sleep. But yeah, take care of everyone who's signing off. I am going to play the game again.
Nice job, uh, slaying the Wings of Ruin. I don't know a whole lot about what that means. I'm guessing it's a Monster Hunter thing. We've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter recently, so... Oh yeah, by the way, you guys should, like, check out Dudfruit's channel. If you like Feeding Frenzy speedruns and or if you like Monster Hunter, definitely check him out. Um... I I don't know a whole lot about Monster Hunter, but I do know a whole lot about Feeding Frenzy. <laughs> uh, Dudfruit is the current record holder for Feeding Frenzy 2, which is very epic. So yeah, make sure to check him out. Not mainly a Monster Hunter channel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, I know this is something you've been doing recently, at least. Uh, and trying to rank up in Splatoon? Yeah, good luck. That, that's hard. Variety and memes. Oh, like that, uh... Like that Reese's Puffs remix you did for April Fools. I I just okay. So I was doing some homework uh, earlier today, and I was listening to it while I was doing homework. Because it, it's it's funny, but also is it just legitimately sounds good. So. Oh yeah, Feeding Frenzy, the only game where an angelfish can eat a lionfish and get away with it. It is a good remix. I, I enjoy it. That minnow just stole my black pearl! Why does this keep happening? I also really like the, the deal with it glasses on the intruder. That's funny as hell. Yeah, like, I I don't understand. I okay. Listen, Feeding Frenzy one might have a fucked up scale, but Feeding Frenzy two is even worse. I think that's my my biggest uh, criticism of Feeding Frenzy 2's gameplay. Bye, Golden Minnow. I'm losing time here. That's that's like one of my biggest criticisms of like the pre. I said gameplay. I, I more so mean the presentation of it, because, like, tuna fish are gigantic. Like, bluefin tuna, I understand that the tuna in Feeding Frenzy are not bluefin tuna, but bluefin tuna are gigantic. They're huge. They're, like, easily twice the size of a person when all dimensions are accounted for. That's totally valid, by the way. Uh, if you like that aspect of Feeding Frenzy 2, more power to you. It's just not for me, personally. But, like... A, a triggerfish, which is not particularly large, eating a tuna, which is larger than a person, is kind of ridiculous.
Inning time, let's go. Something I've noticed recently about a lot of my Andy times is that I typically don't gain a whole lot on them. At least, like, I don't consistently gain on them. And I think that's because my priority is don't die rather than do it quickly. Which, that those are usually the same thing, but for Andy specifically, it's so optimized that uh, you have to do it incredibly quickly and also not die, which just boils down to get lucky, I guess. Like, at that point, uh, losing time is no longer a skill issue, it's a luck issue. I I can't with the jellyfish right now. I think if I had to choose one uh, gimmick or like one hazard, I guess, in any like one hazard from the Feeding Frenzy games that is like my least favorite, it's probably the jellyfish. Like poison minnows are also up there, but. Uh, jellyfish are just so large. Yeah, I, I don't know why they did that. Is it supposed to be, like, the fast version? Right? Time attack, you know? You beat the time. So why would they add something that just takes up more time? But I, I didn't design the game, so... I was not in the room when they were making the decision to add the mermaids to time attack. You know what? Actually... I... I wonder... Um... So one of the quirks about Feeding Frenzy 1's time attack mode is that every single starfish bubble is replaced with a timer bubble so that you can gain more time on regular stages. And that's not the case in Feeding Frenzy 2. So... Do you think the reason the mermaid isn't in time attack for Feeding Frenzy 1 is because they don't want to give out uh, a ton of timer bubbles and just increase the time by a ton for free? That seems realistic. I don't know how I'd prove it, but it, it sounds right. I would also explain why it's in 2, because... Uh, starfish bubbles and timer bubbles are no longer the same thing. Maybe I shouldn't have put this stage at third. That's mostly a joke. Uh, also, I think that was probably a bad gold minnow. I can probably rewatch the VOD to tell. Yes, it does make sense casually, but uh, there's also a bunch of other weird decisions in this game. Like allowing uh, all fish to eat the pearls. Like why why would you why would you let them do that?
That's just like unambiguously less fun. Oh yeah, another thing that's a bit weird, but this time with Feeding Frenzy 2, why can the oysters eat the power-ups? That... I, I've never understood that. Why, why do they interact? Aw, oh, rip. Dude, you hate to see it. It is weird. I... I, I I don't I don't get that decision. Maybe they didn't want to make it so that like staying near an oyster is just free anything. If that makes sense. Like they wanted more of a downside to sticking around oysters because there really isn't a downside aside from just getting insta-killed in Feeding Frenzy 1. And even then, that could be offset by the shield. Or rather, not just offset, but like entirely cancelled out. You cannot take any damage from an oyster if you have a shield. That's... I, I would call it a weird decision, but I'm betting it's probably a glitch. I am not doing well. I, I hope the golden minnow is nice to me here. I don't think that's particularly nice to me, but we'll take it. Okay, Black Pearl. Doesn't save it, but it, it's still good. Okay, you know what? New plan. Let's try and sub-min at this stage, specifically. If I'm not doing well on every other stage, let's do well on this one. I want to prove that this stage can be done sub-min it. Because it is possible. But it's it's not uh, proven on speedrun.com yet. Yeah, that's that stun alone probably cost me it. Sort of, maybe. I don't know. But hey, it was fast. I can't complain about fast. I mean, I can and I am. But I shouldn't. Dude, proving that the Fury glitch is like a, an actual thing and showing that it does happen is really difficult because you know why it happens. Like, you can point at the screen when someone uses a Fury bubble and be like, yeah, that, look, that's the reason why it happens. And then it just never happens when you're actually like recording or something.
So you essentially just end up with a bunch of playground stories. Essentially. By playground stories, I mean like, oh my god, this thing happened to me in the game, and then you don't have any, like, actual proof of it happening. Because, uh, Fury Glitch has happened to me. I don't think it's happened during a run. Because that would be during me recording. And it doesn't happen while I'm recording. But it has happened to me. You know, it's also pretty interesting that they introduced shield right after this stage. They're like, here's a super difficult uh, difficulty spike stage, and then in the next stage they're like, okay, and here's how you don't die in one hit. <laughs> also, I don't know why I expected mines to start spawning. Mines have never been a part of this stage ever. Though it is very nice that this stage has two of the most overpowered as fuck power ups. And it also has Golden Minnow. So, you know. Honestly, if if we do discover the cause of Fury Glitch, it might uh, become a way to just like start not using Fury at all on anything that uses the big ridge background, which are any of those large levels. So Deepwater Dreams, everything that Orville does, all of that, you would just effectively be like, okay, we're not we're not using Fury Bubble on those stages anymore. gotten that golden minnow sooner, that would have been a new best stage 25. And uh, unlike other runs of stage 25, me not getting a good one this time was definitely a me thing. It was a skill issue. Off screen. It will never not be funny to just launch things off screen with the inhale. Honestly, the physics system in this game is very funny. I call it a physics system, but it's not like physics. You know what I mean? Not in the same sense as most modern games use it. Um, I don't know. Because I've, I, I've gotten it to happen without interacting with a jellyfish, as far as I'm aware. Okay, bye, Marlin. Oh, that was a good gold minnow. All right. Now we're cooking. I say as I only make up six seconds when I'm behind by over a minute. Thank you. 
All right, now be nice to me, Tona Sashimi. I don't want to die twice on you again. Also, I'd like to see more puffer fish, please. Please. Where are all the puffer fish? There's a puffer fish. There we go. I don't think that was a super great golden minnow, but whatever. stage is really slow. But at least you got to see a jelly f uh, jellyfish, an orca destroy itself frame one on a mine. Which is pretty funny. Admittedly. screen before I could inhale it. That sucks. Ah, oh, no. No. Alright. Th this run is officially cursed. The curse in question. Okay. That's enough of that. Oh, no. Dude. Oh. Well, I, I got I got one finished run. I I take that as a win. That was awful. Oh my god. But it, it's fine. Uh, listen, um, my existing record is already extremely good. Um, I know it says some of best 23 over here, but, like, that's with perfect RNG. Like, literally, you cannot get better RNG... Okay, that's not true. You probably could get better RNG, but my sum of best is utterly insane. Like, I hold most of the records for individual levels, so just seeing this sum of best as a 23 uh, means that you have to be playing like at a world record pace constantly in order to get even close to it. I, and that usually doesn't happen. So what ends up happening is you usually get, like, if, if you're a top-level runner, you'll get, like, a run somewhere in the 30-minute range. And by that, I mean, like, 30 minutes to 40 minutes. 
like that 10 minute block. You usually get something in that range. Uh, so 3046 is already insane. I am not, I, I was already not expecting to beat it today. Uh, I'm still going to be optimistic that I'm going to eventually beat it, but I, I think just coming close is already really good. Yeah, like, dude, you've got a sub hour Feeding Frenzy 2 at some point, man. I know you can. But, like, some of best is, I, I think, probably going to be. I think some of best is probably the best indication of your potential skill. Because if your sum of best is in the 20 minutes, then you're already a top level runner for Feeding Frenzy 1. And then if your sum of best is anywhere close to 60 minutes in Feeding Frenzy 2, that also means you're an insane runner. I don't know what my sum of best for Feeding Frenzy 2 is. It's probably not close to 60 minutes because I haven't done very many runs of it. But, you know, it, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's insane. Well, I did get my sub-33 as I wanted. Um, I, I wonder if... It, does his uh, live split layout have... Um, does it have a uh, sum of best on it? I don't know if it does. Also, I am going to be signing off here soon. Um, he can toggle it on. Well, if it if it's already on, then you could just check at the end of his most recent run. But if he doesn't have it on, you'd have to probably ask him. All right. Uh... I think that's going to wrap it up for me. I'm going to head on out. Um, so if anyone is watching at the very end of the video in the future that's interested in chiptune stuff, uh, I imagine the people that clicked on this video are more interested in the speedrunning stuff. But if you're interested in the chiptune stuff that I mentioned on my community page, I do have an idea that I might do soon. Um, I just have to put it together. So there is something that I that I have in mind for that. Don't worry, it's it's been a while since I've made any music, but I've got something planned. And then I also have some other things. Uh, I planned is I guess the correct term for it since I haven't like put any of it into place, but. Um, I do want to try and do some more Plants vs. Zombies stuff in the near future, which would be very epic. And even if I don't, I have some other ideas as well. So I, I am thinking of doing some more content again, aside from just speedrunning. That's been like a very big thing recently. And as much as I love speedrunning, I know that not everyone is into the speedrunning. And there are other things that I enjoy. So I, I want to deliver on those at least. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I had a blast. Even if I did not do as well as I would have wanted, it was still very fun. Um, I'm going to also like put a notice on my community tab. And then also as a pinned comment on this stream. Um, I mentioned, like, not by name, but, like, in general, the person who got a 25 using level warp. Uh, if any of you guys go and harass this person, you're not, like, welcome in this community, right? Like, you, you, we don't do that. So, uh, just, just be sure, like, treat everyone with respect that includes this guy he his run did not get verified 
because um, it used the level warp glitch, but like, don't don't go and be mean to them. They're a chill person. So that's all I have to say. Hi, Evander. You caught me at the very end, but I did do a sub 33 and I showed the start screen, all that fun stuff. I, I hope that's enough <laughs> to, to prove that I'm like playing, I guess. I don't know how to word it, but like you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so I, I do have to head out now. Um, well, I, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, so yeah, make sure to take care of yourselves and make sure to drink water. This is not a joke. Drink water. <laughs> drink water. See you guys.